local action plans. Uh, the, the, the presentation is as follows, the introduction, so that's halfway done. Um, a short review of all um, uh, lab, um, labs prepared by the partners, and some conclusions, and finally, as I said, some um, recommendations and some uh, statements. Um, you won't be surprised that the repair project is coming to an end. Um, some of you might be very happy, some of you not, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, in any case, uh, I think it's, uh, it's good to, um, to finish the project with this, uh, this overview of labs because, they, as I said, they were so crucial for the project that uh, it's important also for tomorrow's uh, uh, meeting. Um, the second thing is what we have uh, analyzed a bit is what have partners uh, learned during these two, two years. Um, some of you were really clear in your, uh, in your action plans what you have learned and what you took out of the uh, working group sessions, thematic sessions we had organized on the four pillars. Uh, for some of you it was less obvious, but um, some of you were also already in a quite advanced stage of, of development of a lab. In the case of, uh, of Malta this was, was clearly, clearly uh, the case. How have the repair priorities been implemented in the local policy context? which is also, uh, let's say, an issue which is uh, quite important, of course, for Urbeck, that they see, and also for you, for you, of course, that they see and notice that there's a real uh, focus on implementation and also sort of kind of a guarantee on implementation on what you've done in the past two years. And um, as being said, all of you have drafted a, a local action plan which reflects urban challenges in a local context, so addressing local needs and resources and policies. So that's what we have in common. What I did, I made two slides per partner, not more than that. So uh, you are um, confronted now with 10 times 2 is 20 slides uh, on uh, the local action planning of each partner. And uh, the criteria we used were, OK, what is the integrated de development goal? To which extent they address the repair pillars? Uh, how, they, how they impact on policies, on, on local policies? And uh, what is the efficiency of this uh, bottom-up uh, uh, multi-stakeholder engagement process? And uh, how, um, let's say, funding opportunities during the uh, lab uh, development have been used, and also how funding opportunities have been identified properly. We start with the lead partner, of course, Medway. We analyze the successful factors for Medway as, as follows. The, um, the main development goal in Medway uh, influenced uh, the future local uh, policies in, in, a, uh, in a proper way. There was a very strong bottom-up approach with uh, a clear, clear triple helix uh, uh, involvement. So, uh, uh, the, the, let's say the, the scientific sector, uh, policy sector, and private sector uh, were involved in this bottom-up process, which was uh, very important, I think, for, uh, for the local action planning. Uh, there were clear multiple benefits identified for the general public, for local business, academia and the innovation and research sector, that's, that's all in it, so that, that's very good. And it addresses uh, all repair pillars, and in particular pillar 3 and 4. Uh, in Medway, uh, a lot of funding has already been obtained, uh, and Medway intends to maximize this in future uh, programs. We discussed, we touched this uh, this morning when we said, okay, how, how to attract, based on the local action plans, future funding, and which kind of strategies can be followed uh, in terms of lobbying or influencing uh, policy and decision makers on future funding and how to do that. We come back to that later, of course. What are the uh, challenges for Medway we have identified? Um, devise a funding strategy um, uh, to, to ensure a mixed funding package. Uh, which is carefully combined in terms of share of uh, public funds and EU funds. Um, and integrate, uh, because that's, that's still an opportunity, uh, and, and in a better way, I think, the uh, repair best practices identified to the project. We have identified uh, somehow 20 practices which are not yet, uh, let's say, reflected in the, in the local action plan of uh, Medway. But I think that's also in terms of uh, phasing, uh, and it, uh, there's still opportunity for that. And the uh, pillar one on waste management is a li little bit underdeveloped. That's what was the, the, uh, the, uh, our conclusions uh, concerning Medway.